Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I'm going to just share something really, really cool with you guys about resting in God and how you can actually experience rest. And the thing is, is that it's our choice. And so I'm going to share with you today about experiencing God's rest. Okay, so just knowing God, God is loving and He's very gentle and He does not want us to be stressed out or worried about anything he really doesn't and here in um, Matthew 6 34 it says take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof and so this this is the Lord saying this Lord Jesus saying this because he doesn't want us to focus on tomorrow <laughs> If we're focusing on tomorrow and then we have things going on today, you know, we're, we're just going to have too much going on. You know, we're going to get stressed out and worried and all of that. He doesn't want us to focus on all of that. Um, the Lord basically, you know, is going to take care of us. And so the Lord doesn't want us to be worried and stressed out about things. And like I said earlier, whether you rest or not or whether you worry and whether you are stressed out about things, it is our choice. It's our choice to rest in God or to be stressed out. And I'm going to share with you two things that you can actually do to enter into God's rest. Okay, so first I'll just share some things that I have. First of all, rest comes whenever we totally give everything to God. That's when rest comes. And I'm going to share a really cool uh, testimony with you guys about my finances, about giving my finances to God and how you can give your finances to God also and actually rest in it. But rest actually comes when you give everything to God. If you have everything on your shoulders and you're trying to take on the whole world and trying to do everything, you know, yourself, then you're going to be stressed out. You're going to be weighed down because you're trying to do everything and you're trusting in yourself to get everything done so whenever something happens and you're not able to do it and then you're you know you're worried and stressed out so um, first of all you have to take off all of those things and give all of that stuff to God that's the only way you can be worried free you know if you take it off of yourself take that yoke off and place it upon God and give it to him and leave it there basically and um, that's that's number one of uh, you know receiving rest so in Matthew 6 33 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that's important and all these things shall be added unto you all the things everything that's stressing you out everything that you desire um, everything you're focused on if you can shift that focus and put it on the kingdom of God seek him seeking him is uh, putting your focus on him like when you're worshiping him you're spending time with him you're focusing on him that's seeking him and you're seeking his righteousness you're seeking his love you're seeking um, you know everything that has to do with him you're focused on that and you're focused on that being your life you know and then it says all the things everything else everything else that you can possibly think of will be added to you okay so your focus needs to be totally on God that's how you rest if your focus is on the natural things and the worldly things you won't be able to rest you'll be stressed out 24 hours a day but if you can get your focus just on the Lord and everything that has to do with God everything that has to do with his personality his character um, you know loving people loving him uh, obeying his commandments and and just focus on doing those things and then everything else will be added to you because you're focused on God you're seeking the kingdom of God first and this is the key word here it says but seek ye first the kingdom of God that's that's the word so it's something that you have to do first all the things that's being added that doesn't come first it doesn't say that it says that you have to do something first you have to seek God and focus on God first 
You know, you have to focus on his righteousness first. That's what you have to do first and then everything else comes. So that's one of your tips. That's something you can start doing. Focus on the Lord every single day. Get up, focus on him, spend time with him. Seek his advice, seek, seek his help, uh, seek his guidance, seek everything from him that day. And don't worry about anything that day. Do this every day and that will help you rest in God. So the second thing that you have to do uh, to enter into God's rest, the second thing you have to do, you have to give everything to God. And I know that's kind of hard to do because a lot of times we'll give it to God. We'll say, okay, Lord, you know, I'm going to give this to you and I lay it down at your feet. But an hour later, we pick it back up and, um, you know, it doesn't work like that. And then we're back stressed out when we pick it back up and we put it back on ourselves. But uh, to enter into God's rest, you have to give him everything. Trust him with it. You know, give, when you give it to him, just step back and just do not focus on it ever again. If it starts coming back in your mind and, and, and twirling again, just give it to him again. Just keep giving it to him, you know, you know, until you can just totally breathe and, and not take it back. But whenever you take it back and you're focusing on it again, and then you remove it from his hands. I'm going to share something um, in another video about... Uh, giving things to God and actually leaving it with Him and how you do that in the next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed these two things that you can actually do to enter into God's rest. And like I said, you have to choose to do these two things. First, you have to seek, uh, seek God, focus on God, number one. Focus on Him other than the other things. Whatever else is causing you to be stressed out, shift that, put it on the Lord. Then the next thing is to give it to Him, to give Him everything. Seek Him, focus on Him, and to give Him everything. Then you'll be able to rest. You can take those burdens off and then you can get some rest. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this teaching and I will see you in the next video. God bless.